What would you say to the person that says all of this science is just a way of hiding a, a deep-seated racism? Well, there's an old joke from the 70s about a psychiatrist who walks out of his apartment in the morning, walks down the street, walks by a guy he doesn't know, and the guy says, good morning. And this, the psychiatrist thinks a minute and says, I wonder what he meant by that. <laughs> and this business of, you know, psychoanalyzing everyone, figuring out what their true deep motivations are, there's no answer and it's hardly worth thinking about in my opinion uh, it became acceptable to call people racist in the 70s I think a scientist has a duty to society. He's really being paid to find out what the facts are in a number of different uh, areas. And uh, if he then doesn't uh, tell the public what the facts are, I think he's neglecting his responsibilities. It's one thing a scientist owes society the truth as he sees it. And I don't think he should be frightened from that by reactions by newspapers, media and so on, or uh, ill-advised students and other people who don't want to know. Isaac's work was seized on by the National Front. His suggestion that American blacks might be genetically inferior played into the hands of racial politics. He himself was called a racist. He was attacked at a lecture in London University. In Melbourne, students tried to prevent him from speaking. There were quite a large number of students who in some way uh, seemed to resent that the university had invited me at all. And they were beating up some of the people who were trying to keep them away. And finally the chairman said, well, maybe we better stop it. And <laughs> I didn't feel emotional about it. I thought it was rather odd. The behavior of these uh, very left-wing students was, of course, very similar to that which I'd encountered in Germany, where the Nazis beat up and uh, disrupted the lectures of socialists and Jewish and other people with whom they disagreed. And uh, to find it over here and in Australia, was really quite upsetting in a way because we always thought of uh, these countries as a home of free speech rather than this kind of fascist oppression. And, uh, but it happened and uh, I think it's very much a change for the worse.